sweet god. Do I look as tired as I actually am? I'm really not that tired, but my eyes burn. They kind of look a little bit like, I don't know, like they're wet or watery or whatever. They're a little red, I, I won't lie there, but. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another video. What is good, what is going on? I usually start all my videos with what is good, so I do apologize for that. But also, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going on another toy hunt. I've been in the toy hunting spirit. I've been really trying to track down figures. I made a goal at the beginning of the year that we would find a chase figure in the wild. That that is my that is my 2022 goal i want to find a chase figure in the wild for you guys on video on the toy hunts for the channel that is the big goal here so i i've been hitting stores a lot lately trying to get that big hunt trying to get that big you know just you know what i'm saying just nail it and uh I feel like we're right there, right? I feel like we're right there at catching a chase. Maybe today will be the day, but I've been doing a ton of toy hunting trying to find a chase variant figure, and that's kind of why we've been going on so many toy hunts. You know, I feel like I used to do toy hunts every once in like two or three months. We've been hitting them like once a week, bro. I've been hitting up toy hunts. It's been really fun for me. I hope you guys are enjoying the toy hunt videos. But today, we're going to go on another toy hunt. Hopefully, we can find some more stuff. I am missing a few from Series 2 of Unmatched Series. I know those have been hitting a lot. Uh, you know, we're, we're constantly on the on the hunt for chase figures. That's our main deal there. That's what I'm always hunting for, man. AEW figures and stuff like that. I actually purchased a chase figure, so that'll be really cool to see. Maybe we can get that in soon. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things going on, man, trying to, to, trying to get everything taken care of and things like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go on a toy hunt today, and we'll come back here, cover what we found what we saw at the stores and all those different things man so with that being said i'll see you guys on the toy hunt and hopefully uh you know all the different things god do my eyes like i'll see you guys in the stores all right guys store number one we're here at target we got some unmatched series two hell yeah wardlow was missing wardlow one of the only ones i'm missing i'm missing him and sting definitely grabbing this I'm, I'm absolutely grabbing this this is no doubt got lance archer another ward low which is cool another lance archer and another lance archer no chase got sheeta back there got some mjf in the house ortiz santana okay ortiz again and santana okay so two ortiz two ward low santana you got ember moon bless just bless absolute blessings to this figure jeff hardy another jeff back there we got hurricane in the house lots of her i've been seeing this hurricane a lot man lots of hurricane around we got Kane, more Kane. doesn't look like the running change as far as the mask is concerned i don't think yeah i'm not noticing anything like that but santana right there i might grab an extra santana uh, you know i have to i have to put that on the fence we'll see about that i got bob orton of course we have undertaker seen lots of undertakers and canes lately glad i already got my mock ones i might i, I have a few of the cane but I might need to grab an extra Undertaker, but Bob Orton right there. We got okay. So some decisions were obviously made right here. You guys can see you got the you got the pad and you got the pins. Jeff Hardy decisions were definitely made, but I'm not really seeing anything else here. You know, Roman Reigns top picks you got Rey Mysterio, which is cool. You got Goldberg, of course, shelf warming as always. We got Roman Reigns again, Rey Mysterio. Uh, okay, yeah, what would it be? It wouldn't be a toy hunt without Bray Wyatt back there, but. Triple H back here, a couple of those. You got Hurricane, China. Always, you don't go to Target without seeing a China. These figures have been here forever. I don't know if they'll ever leave. Can we get a Chase? Can we get a Chase Jake? Chase Jake, Chase Jake, and God. Still no Chase Jake. I've I've probably seen a hundred Jake the Snake Elites, and I still cannot find the Chase. I don't see anything chilling behind the shelves. I guess, I guess this is what we got, but not a terrible little little spot i mean three lance archers is kind of weird got another ward low right here i'll check the condition make sure that you know like uh, i get i get the one that's the most mock if you will but it's cool to see the ward low here got a couple of those i think i'm definitely going to grab these two still on the fence about santana you guys can find out at the end of the video of course but i mean i'm just glad to see figures on the shelves man target's been stacked i mean you got top picks you got new elites you got aew all kinds of different stuff on the shelves. I'm still hunting the freaking retro-carded Marvel Legends Symbiote Spider-Man. I can't find it anywhere. I always see Shocker and Hammerhead, so I'll definitely check that out. But I don't know. I, I, I wish I could find Sting as well. I've seen every single Unmatched Series 2 figure at retail except for Sting. And I knew he'd be the sellout figure, but, you know, it is what it is. We got tons of Marvel Legends here. All the same. We got, you know, a couple here and there, but... I don't see any symbiote Spider-Man or anything like that. You know, that's really the only Marvel Legends I'm looking for at this moment. 
Got the uh, good old Robert Pattinson here for Batman, but I think that pretty much sums it up. You know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do another look around for for Sting, but uh, I don't think I, th I think that does it for store number one. Target number two, we got uh, about the same. You know, little uh, Santana Ortiz take Conti. You know, we've seen we've seen a lot of this already before. Got Kane Ultimate Edition. Still no running change. It looks like I've seen some of those been mistaken, but. A lot of these Roman Reigns are chilling off the pegs. I'm going to go ahead and hang these back up right here just because, you know, we're all we're constantly fixing up the aisles. You know, that's kind of like a staple of the, to of the toy hunts now. We kind of clean up the area, make sure everything looks good there. But Roman Reigns top picks. No Goldberg, surprisingly. But uh, that, that Sasha Banks Alexa Bliss battle pack has been here forever. Uh, lots of stuff going on. I, I definitely want to set this up nicely. You know, you got to get the stuff in order here. Got an extra cane back here. Got to pick it up by the tab right there, make sure everything's in line there. But that battle pack's been here forever. I'll just sit stuff wherever, you know. If, if it's not wrestling, I'm not going to fool with it. You know, I'm just trying to make the wrestling look here. But Bob Orton, Chef Warming, uh, old battle packs, honestly, sh chilling here. Got the Bailey Survivor Series China, of course. Wouldn't be a toy hunt without it. You got Riho, Take Conti. A couple Ortiz, got Riho again, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this store. Not a lot going on, kind of a bust, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, same, same old, same old. All right, guys, going into a Walmart. It's Walmart. Never been here before. We'll see what's up. Probably going to suck. We'll see. All right, guys, here at Walmart. Oh, my God. This is just depressing. One Carmella Elite 86, one China Trish Battle Pack, got a Damian Priest basic, got, Sh got Charlotte in the house, Chelsea Green, Bray Wyatt. I mean, you got some redeemable top picks already here, which are really good figures. I I'm surprised that they got the four pack here. Terrible Roman plush, got some little Stretch Armstrong deals going on back here. Got the ATV, got some Ninja Turtles down here, don't collect that, but Lord in heaven, what a terrible bust. I hate going out of town and hitting a store. And it's just the worst thing you've ever seen. I mean, this is awful. AEW Sting Finger? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm going to I'm gonna do a little loopsie here, but I am not expecting much. You know, I try to look under stuff and around stuff and everything like that. Try to cover all your bases, but damn, what a disappointing place. I cannot, st like, God, like, going to your local one and it's sucking is one thing. But going out of town and it's sucking even worse than your local is worse. All right, guys, we are back home after the toy hunt, and I must say, it was pretty successful. I was I was excited for it. I thought it was a pretty good day of hunting, and we're going to show you guys what we picked up here today. So let's go ahead and get into it again. I apologize for my eyes. Good Lord. Got to do something about that. Anyways, I have a few different things that I picked up, and some of it you guys didn't see on camera, but we'll get into all that, man. The first thing that we picked up was the Series 2 Wardlow. You know, that's one of the ones I was missing from Unmatched Series number 2. You guys know AEW Figure Completionist. Only way you can complete it is to get every single figure. That does come with its faults, but I li actually like the Wardlow a lot. I do have a loose, and I do now have a mock one, so that was nice to add to the collection there. Saw two of them, almost bought both, but I decided against it. Maybe one day we'll do that, but... Uh, uh, we did add Wardlow. I was excited to add Wardlow to the collection today. And the other day, I'll show you guys in just a moment, I knocked out another figure that I was missing from Unmatched Series number two. But uh, the other figure that we grabbed in the set was Santana. You guys remember, I think it was one or two toy hunts ago, I said that I needed another Santana. So I went ahead and grabbed the Santana just so I could knock it out. I wanted the camo tights for a future custom. And so that's what I went with. I wanted to go ahead, knock that out, get that taken care of. So that's the reason we grabbed the Santana. Maybe Maybe we'll grab an Ortiz, but this will do good for custom fodder and things like that. You get some really cool colors and stuff going on with this. So we did grab Santana. I was excited to do that. So we do have Santana right there. The next figure we picked up, we got for my boy Jonathan. You guys remember Jonathan? He's been on the channel a few times. He actually got out of the figure collecting game, and he was selling some of his collection. I still might buy his full collection. That might be a full video in itself. Still on the fence about that. But we did grab a couple figures from his collection this week, and what we picked up was actually the Series 3 Unrivaled Darby Allen. I'm going to keep this one mock. I think that makes my fifth of this figure mock, which is kind of insane, but I'll explain it in just a moment so we did grab the Darby Allen from Unrivaled series number three and then we grabbed the Unmatched series one Darby Allen now this is one that I'm going to open I actually have four of these mock as well this would make the fifth but I am going to open this now the reason you're probably saying why do you have so many and why are you not opening the Unrivaled the reason I'm not opening the Unrivaled is because uh, this one has the tattoo and I want to do some customs and fix up some Darby's but I want it to have the sleeve tattoo
tattoo, but that one, the Unrivaled, does not have the sleeve tattoo, and I didn't think about that until later, and this one has the sleeve tattoo. So, you guys see, what well, you, you understand what I'm saying? I, I needed this one because it has the sleeve tattoo. That one doesn't, and so I'm going to open this one to customize instead of the one that doesn't have the sleeve tattoo. You guys, you guys see what I'm saying, but uh, one thing I did notice also is this one doesn't have the chest tattoo. So, honestly, uh, they're both kind of messed up, but I can customize over, over the chest a little bit to make it look like the tattoos covered up enough I guess and so that that's not that big of a problem but we did pick up two Darby's also made some trades for some Darby's and still working on some trades for some Darby's including the chases and stuff like that and that's actually one of the chases I bought was the one of 5,000 unmatched Darby that I will have mocked now for the collection so that'll be my second chase figure ever and we also have uh, some other things working on for chases man I'm about to go hardcore at the chases I, I'm, I'm just gonna try and do it man like I, I say I want to have a complete you know AEW collection I don't think it's complete unless you knock out those chases man gotta make it happen it's something that we gotta do so there's that we got the unmatched one Darby and the last thing we picked up was take Conti from a match series number two now I picked this up I, I found this at my local target this was actually one of the figures again that I was missing from a match series number two and I had you know I had to have it mocked so the only uh, the only way to be a completionist mock is to you gotta get them all so we we added Wardlow and we added take Conti to our series two now now I have all of them. I have MJF. I have Santana. I have Ortiz. I am now just missing Sting. I cannot find the Sting. We looked for it everywhere. Every toy hunt I go on, I can find the rest of the wave. I cannot find Sting, so that's going to be our next deal. I I've seen people find three god dang chases Stings. I saw three 1 of 5,000 chase Stings found by one person in one store, along with some other, ch other regular Stings from that wave, which is just completely bonkers. When I saw that, I wanted to off myself. I'm just joking. But seriously, though, that is very painful, you know, when you drive all, uh, you drive and you, you put every ounce of your being into finding these figures. And then somebody just stumbles in one day after work, finds three chases just chilling there. I know I got people that hit up my stores on a daily basis. So I, I am going against a very difficult crowd when it comes to, you know, trying to hunt down chase figures. That's why I got to go pay the aftermarket price. Sucks, but that's the way it is. But I thought it was successful. We picked up Wardlow and we picked up Santana. I didn't show the clip of me getting Tay Conti. This was earlier in the week. I, usually when I just go to my one target, my local target, when I go to that one, I don't film it the, unless I hit, you know, unless it's just a really, really big deal. But most of the time I don't film it because I don't expect to find anything. I probably need to start filming it or, you know, I, sometimes I'll just bring the camera out and show you guys what I got. But I typically don't film it unless we do hit. So, and we, we did hit. It just, it was the only figure really there. So, you know, that's what it was. But but Target's been hitting, man. Target's been really elite lately with their company of figures. Uh, if you want figures, man, Target's the place to go. I feel like Walmarts are dry as shit. feel like they're terrible right now, so there's that, but uh, I'm gonna go rest, man. It's been a long day, and it was good. A good old toy hunt. Let me know down below what you guys would have purchased, and all those different things, man, and hopefully we get our chase figure in soon. I will showcase it here on the channel, and I don't think I'm gonna open it. I think I am gonna keep it mock if I get another one. I do wanna have a loose and mock collection of the chase figures, but that's a whole thing in itself, but it's something that I'm about to start working hard at, man. I'm about to start going through the collection. Maybe I can move some things here and there, get some extra funds, and make those chase variants happen so we'll see about that man but anyways thank you guys for watching you guys can see the the ring set up back here we finally have the mdt live ring set up we got the full arena set up and it's about to be go time man so uh buckle up man let's get it started but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel let me know what you would have grabbed on the toy hunt i gotta go drop a deuce and i just crossed the line <laughs>